Hello everyone, it's Ravindri here back with another video. In this video, we will learn how we can use AutoMapper in our .NET Core applications. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe this channel to get more videos like this. So let's get started. I'm using a standard .NET Core Web API project in this tutorial. And let's see why do we need AutoMapper in our applications. So it is our database model and we have all of these properties. And I do not want to expose all of these properties to a consumer. I just want to expose only these four properties to end users or consumer. That's why I have created a DTO so that I can expose only these four properties to the end user. So let's move here in the books controller. And you can see we have this add book method. And here We'll define some coding here so first of all yeah i have connected to repository that's it so let's write here book repo dot add book and let's pass that book dto object here and here as you can see we are getting an error cannot convert automapper demo dot models dot book dto to automapper demo dot models dot book so it is asking us to pass a parameter of book type so we need to pass an object of book class not a book dto so it is expecting object of book type as a parameter So how we can solve this issue? So we can solve it by manually converting this book DTO to book class. So first of all, we need to create a book object. And here we are manually converting our book DTO to book. So I'm assigning ID to, I'm assigning this ID and I'm getting this value from book DTO and so on and we will pass this book to add book and we are good and let's return this book here so here as we can see we have converted our book dto to a book class but we are doing it manually and it is not an ideal case because you do not want to do manual manual mapping of your objects in the whole project it will be a tedious process so we need some kind of tool that will automatically do it for us so let's see how we can use that tool so here automappers comes in the rescue so we will use automapper for that so first of all we need to open the package manager console so go here in the tool section and command line sorry not command line nuget package manager and package manager console and we need to install this package automapper dot extensions dot microsoft dot dependency injection so let's install this package that's it let's close it and now open the program.cs file okay and here we will use builder builder dot services dot auto mapper auto add auto mapper and here we will add type of program okay so config that's it we need only this line to integrate auto mapper we need to do another configuration for that we have to go here and inside the project we will create a new folder and let's name it config c o n f i g config inside that we will create a configuration file for auto mapper so i'm going to create a class here and let's name it mapper config sorry mapper profile mapper profile and here 
it will inherit another class so which will be profile and profile comes from this auto mapper so do not forget to use using auto mapper do not forget to add this line using auto mapper now here we will define a constructor so just type ctor double tap and here we have defined our constructor now you need to define mapper dot mapper dot create sorry not mapper dot just use create map okay and here we need to define book comma book sorry book dto to book okay now we have done our configuration so let's see what should we do in the next steps now we have to go here in the books controller and here we will create a field private read only read sometimes these suggestions are annoying read only i mapper okay mapper that's it and here we will define mapper equals to mapper and we haven't defined mapper here so it should be i mapper mapper and it should be mapper oh yeah good so let's move ahead and we do not need this manual configure sorry manual mapping so rather than we will create a book object so we will write here mapper dot map and our source object and our destination class so here we will pass our destination class so i want to convert this book dto to book object so i am going to type here book it is a destination class and it is our source object so we will pass our source object book dto and we are done here we have passed book here and we are good so let's run our project and let's see what is happening here and what i'm doing here after creating a resource i am passing this book as a response so let's test this endpoint with postman so i'm using this endpoint here and here i'm passing this object as a body so we have id1 title this author this and here this so let's press send button here and let's see what we are getting in response and we are getting id title author and year and all of these things and these things are not set that's why they are null so we have passed these four things and we are getting these four things as a response because we are just passing the same object to back back to the response okay now what if our book dto have different property now our book dto have book id and our book class have id how it would it would convert book id to id let's see how it would do first of all let's check it here i'm gonna convert this id to book id that's it and let's see yeah we are good here and let's send it here now you can see now we have id equals to zero and it is not able to convert book id to id automatically it will not happen automatically we need to do some kind of configuration here so we need to do some kind of configuration here so we have this property for member and here we have this src property so here source sorry not source destination and destination dot id okay comma options options dot 
dot map from okay and we will map it from book id so let's name it src source src dot book id so basically we are converting our properties here so we are converting book id to id okay it is our source and it is our destination let's see how it is working so let's move here and let's run this again and now we can see that we have id1 so we have successfully done it now let's do one more thing here and let's go here and but before that i need to go here in the book repository because i have commented a method so i'm going to do it quickly so let's uncomment this guy and uncomment this guy okay now we have a method that is returning this dummy books list and it is returning a book not book dto book 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 so it should be id and here it should also be book book and it should also be id id okay and it should also be book okay now we are good. so we have this method which is returning a list of books let's see how we can convert this list of book to list of book dto so here let's create a method let's name it first of all let's define a verb here http get and just type here public ix and result get books that's it and here just define var books okay and here we will get book repo dot get books book repo dot get dummy books okay so first of all let's change this name dummy book where it is book repository and here let's name it get books is making more sense it should look like an actual method okay now here we have this get books so we are getting books so it should be it would be a type of high enumerable book okay now we need to convert this list into a enumerable of book dto we need to convert it so we are going to convert this to this okay so just type here where book dto to list something like this and let's type here mapper dot map and i enumerable book dto books okay and return okay book dto list let's see how it is working will it even work let's see So right now i'm using this swagger api so go here api slash book and try it out sorry not this one this one 
try it out execute and here we have this error and why we are getting this error because we are converting our book to book DTO okay and we haven't defined any configuration here we have defined configuration for book DTO to book but we haven't defined a configuration for book to book DTO so we need our reverse configuration for it so we just have to type here reverse map and that's it so we need to run it again so let's run it so here again we're going to test this endpoint so press execute and you can see that we are getting response so we have successfully converted our book to book dto type okay so we have done both type of mapping AutoMapper relies on reflection to map properties between objects, which can introduce some performance overhead. If you are using it for mapping complex objects, then you need to think about some other options. So that's it for now. See you next time.